Hello there, I am John Gvodel, and could anyone guess what I have in this bag? If you say the title, yes, I got into the Switch. Today is Sunday, March 5th, I believe, of 2017, and I got into the Switch from Best Buy right there, yeah. Um, I basically, today, it's 12.08 when I'm recording this, and it's 12.08 p.m., so in the afternoon when I'm recording this on Sunday. Um... I woke up at 8.40 this morning, and then I took an hour, I took a nap on the couch, on my living room couch, till like 9.59, and then, uh, my stepfather drove me to GameStop first, but when we got there, around 10.15, we, um, my local GameStop, it was closed, and it didn't open till 11, so I was like, hey, I was planning on going to Best Buy, if, you know, GameStop failed on me, so, um, we went to, um, we went to Best Buy next, my local Best Buy, and I saw that two people were already, um, you know, lined up for something, I was assuming it was a Switch, and, um, I was the third one in line, I asked them, and they were, um, on this, they were, um, you know, waiting for the Switch too, and basically what ended up happening was that it opened up at 11, the Best Buy did, and I got the third ticket, and I was, and there was only three, uh, Nintendo Switches at that Best Buy, I got the third one, so let me open this thing up, yeah, there it is. There is the Nintendo Switch right there. Let me see if I can get in the camera. Right there, yeah, cool. And then I also got uh, Breath of the Wild, which I can get out of that right now. Put the back to the side. Um, here's Breath of the Wild. It's pretty cool. Uh, I like how the case for the Nintendo Switch games are like PSP size. And um, I guess I'll open up the Nintendo Switch first. So let me switch. Let me put Breath of the Wild to the side. So I'm putting it to the side for now. Um, so like, right here is the Nintendo logo on the, like the top of the box, right here, right here, um, it says Nintendo. Then on the sides of the box, I guess the left side, right here, is um, like how it looks, like the Switch, and right there, and then how you can put it in the dock, side by side I guess, Switch with the game, with the portable mode I guess, handheld mode, with the two Joy-Cons on the side. Um, I got, I got the two Joy-Cons using as like the console screen as a like a little preview screen, like a TV kind of thing, and then the two Joy Cons like with the straps. So that's pretty cool. I got the um, Nintendo Switch with um, the black Joy Cons because I wanted to match my system honestly, and I could always get red, or, red, or blue, neon Joy Cons if I wanted to. But I wanted to match the system, and like all the other Wii U's that were at the Best Buy were all this version, so I'm happy with that actually. Nintendo Switch is the logo right here. Nice. On the other side, the right side, um, it has this. Um, the Joy Cons with the little um, thing added to it. I don't know, like the extra button thing. I don't know what it's called. Um, the handheld, just using it as a handheld. Um, like a, it has a little kickstand, which is pretty cool, so you can like lay it back with the Joy Cons separate. And then um, using it as a controller, like the grip thing. I don't know what it's called really. And then sliding into the one side of the console for a handheld. And then the back. Um, it just says Nintendo Switch, um, right here, the joy -Con, one Joy-Con, and another Joy-Con, I guess, sliding onto it. And then the bottom, uh, it's upside down. <laughs> here, let me do that. Um, yeah, the bottom. Well, uh, you don't see it on the camera that well. Um, there we go. Um, like the, what it comes with is right here, and then the information, and all that. And, yeah, the little, uh, barcode, I guess. Um, warnings and stuff right here. Um, not too much, not too, not too exciting. Um, let me see if I can move my camera down. Like that. Wait, I'm trying to figure out how. Oh, wait, there's a tab, right? I heard there's a tab somewhere. So, it's right here. Yeah, right here. Um, let me see if I can open. Yeah, I just pop it up like this. And it comes off like that. And then, um, I think you just. Oh, yeah, once you have the tab open like that, you can flip it over like this. Um, let me see if I can get the camera better. Um, I think it just opens up from here, so if I open it, I'm hoping I'm opening it up right quickly. Oh no, it's up here. I'm confused. Okay, it's right here. Okay, right here, the little thing opens up right here. Um, right here is, um, the setup, I guess, which I probably can figure out on my own. Need help? Call <laughs> support.nintendo.com slash switch home slash home. Um, open it up. It's like a box. It's pretty cool. I'm going to keep the box because the box is pretty cool. Um... I don't know if I can get this in the view better. Oh, I mean, camera focus. Focus camera. There we go. Let me switch. I'm trying to get the best look here. Okay, so, um, 
I don't know if you can see it that well. I think if I do this, put that back. Yeah, that's a little bit better. You can see it better that time, that way. Um, let me open it up. There we go. Okay, so the first thing you see is the two Joy-Cons right here, which is pretty cool. And then, the, and then um, this um, this is the console right here. So let me take out the console first. So I'm excited to get the console. Oh no, I banged it against my deck a little bit. Okay, so it comes in this um plastic um packaging or uh, just how it's packaged. Um, I'm gonna slide it out here. Whoa, man, this looks cool. It feels really nice. And on the back, it says Nintendo Switch, and then like the Nintendo logo and all that good stuff. Um, to put it in perspective. Yeah, oh, dang it. Okay, so this is. It's about the exact same size as Breath of the Wild, the game cases. I mean, if you look at that, that's exactly the same size almost. If not, it's really close, because you can see that little tab up there in the top, at the very top, like it's a little bit. So that, to put it in perspective, the game cases are the size of the screen, basically. So that's pretty cool. I'm already getting fingerprints on it, jeez. I wanted to get a screen, screen protector, but I didn't get a screen protector for my gamepad, I don't know what to find. I mean, I'll probably not get a screen protector for this unless it comes with one, but I don't think it does. Because I'm getting fingerprints on it already, if you can see that on the camera. Yeah, you can see that a little bit right there. Um, yeah, um, I guess this is the charging port right here on the bottom. And then, uh, I don't know what these two holes are right here. I don't know if you can see that well. Let me see if I can pull up the light on my camera. Um, yeah. Um, those holes right there, I don't know if you can see them, I don't know if my camera would focus. Um, those holes in the, on the left and the right side. Um, yeah. And then on the top, I guess it's your, uh, sorry, I'm not really doing this that well. Uh, the volume rocker is right here. The volume rocker is right here, I'm trying not to get fingerprints on this thing. Um, and then the power button is right here. There you go. My dogs are barking. Um, I think this is like an air vent to make it not go, make it so hot and stuff, so it doesn't overheat. Right here, I believe, is a headphone jack. Right here, and then a game card. Yeah, game card goes in right here. What the heck? Yeah, because it's so really small and stuff. So the game card goes right in there. Cool. And then you can just push it down to close it, I guess. Then on the right side, you have, um, I guess a bunch of screws and stuff. I don't think that's really important. And then on the left side, you have more screws and stuff, okay. And then I showed the bottom and the top already. So that's, um, console for you. I'm gonna put to that side. It's right here, but I'm gonna put it to the side. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hold on, let me just adjust my camera better. There we go. Okay. So the next is the Joy-Cons. So, I think you would just take them out. Yeah, there we go. It's, it's well packaging too. Okay. And you just... Ooh, wow. Oh, this feels nice. <laughs> yeah. Wow. The, the, the control stick or the analog stick is really nice. I like the feel of it. And then you got your X... You got your X, Y, B, and A buttons right here. And then, if people thought this was a D-pad, this plus. But, um... It's a, I just bit my tongue, ow. Um, but it's a, um, plus button. Right up here is, um, I don't, the ZR button right here. I don't know if you can see that that well. Hopefully you can. Um, oh, it's better if I do it this way. ZR button right here, and then the R button is right here. So this is the right Joy-Con, just because you can tell with the R button, that's how I remember it really easily. And it's obviously shaped for the right side, basically, as you can see how it looks. Um, there's the home button right here, if I can get it to focus. Right there is the home button. Yeah, you can see it a little bit, cool. Uh, I don't know what this is down here, but I think it's just, um, I'm not sure what it's for, honestly. Um, right here on the, um... I won't show both Joy-Cons off because it looks like the same thing except for like an L button and L button is a difference. But um, um, these buttons right here, like SR, I don't know what they do exactly, and SL, 
and then these little arrows. I think the arrows are to help you put, make make sure you like push it down when you put it in the console. So yeah, let me open up the other Joy-Con. I think there's no difference. Let me just double check when I'm looking at this. Okay. Okay. Come on. Okay. So I got the other one out of the packaging. As I'm. Oh wait, no. This is a diff. This is a big difference. Okay. So yeah, it's a difference actually. So this is the minus button up here. This is the con analog stick or control stick. That was really nice. Um, buttons up, right or left? I mean, sorry. Uh, right and down. This is like your D-pad basically, but it's like four separate buttons instead of like a plus. And then you got your little um. I think this is this button here is to take snapshots. This little uh, square button with a circle in it. Um, we got the um same SL and SR right here, and then the slide button. The arrow is going down to slide it into your console. To your console. So that's pretty cool. Well, let me um go further into the box then. Dang it. Okay. So uh, this is like the packaging. I mean, I'll keep it, I guess, because it's really cool. I guess. Came in my switch. Okay, so right here, we got your HDMI cable, which I have an Elgato, so I'll just use this HDMI cable to plug it into my Elgato and play it off of that and so I can record from it and stuff. Okay. So, I think it's like, it just doesn't, on this honestly doesn't look like a 6 feet, uh, uh, you know, HDMI cable. I can actually check right now, just to be sure. Okay, let me stand up for a second, and let's see here. Yeah, it seems like a five foot audio uh, HDMI cable. Sorry, my the the wire the cable hit the tripod of my camcorder. My camcorder's tripod. Okay, so it's I guess it'll get the job done. Again, it's HDMI cable. It's HDMI as you see right here, and the other side is HDMI. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so there's that. Put that to the side, and then we got we got this, which I I think it's just um go, they um. You can, they're like extensions to the, um, Joy-Cons, and I might actually keep the straps on there just in the case, because I want to be careful with my Nintendo Switch so it doesn't, like, break and stuff. Also, I did buy the, uh, it cost $50, but I got the, uh, protection plan, which, uh, uh, uh which can be put, can, my Switch can be replaced if I have, like, if it's something spells on it, if it breaks, if the Joy-Con breaks, and stuff like that. I think the console, too. So that's pretty cool. I, buy, I bought it for the extra $50, just to be safe. But, uh, it's this thing right here. So we got, um, we got two buttons, they're not really labeled or anything. I think it's just, um, to help you, so it's like more buttons, so you can push it like that, compared to like this, where you don't, where it's hard to push sometimes, because it's smaller. And then you got your strap. Um, I think it just slides into the Joy-Con, like, uh, minus and minus, I guess, go together, obviously. And then, well, the plus and the plus go together, probably, too. So where's the other one? I got you. I gotta get the other one out. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Ah, everything's falling. Everything's falling. I okay, put that right there. Let me do that. Push it to the side there. Okay, I'm gonna open up the other one. Yeah. Okay, so, um. Yeah. So, um. Minus goes with minus right here. And plus goes with plus. So, if I just. Well, I can actually do that later. I'll put that. I'll do that later, actually. Okay, so I gotta move my console a little bit. Okay, so next is um the power adapter. So it looks pretty long actually. Um, it has to be big bulky right here because it needs a lot of power and stuff. It's not like the Nintendo Wii U um where um it's a big brick thing, you know, even bigger than the Wii's brick adapter thing. I call it the brick because it's like shaped like a brick and it's very big and hard and. Uh, heavy and stuff, I guess, in that case. So there's that. So, cool power adapter. Um, it says Nintendo right there. Is it camera? Yeah, there we go. Um, there we go. Nintendo right there. And that's, and then like the specs, like the voltage is right here. I don't know how well you can see that. I don't think you can see that that well. But that's just there for that, for that reason, I guess. Um, that didn't make sense. Uh, right here, it's in this, um, it's in this kind of like, I don't know, like, foam, not really foam, but soft packaging, like if you can see right here now. Oh, I think this is the control grip. Yeah. So, um, wow. Like, this is the back, 
So like all you feel when you grip it really is just these points, the two things you grip. This is Nintendo on the back too. Um, it says the Switch on the front, which has the Switch logo, which is pretty cool. There we go. Um, you switch, you basically slide the Joy Cons into this thing. It's a lot, it's a lot smaller than I expected. I know the, I know the um, the console for the Nintendo Switch would be small, but like I didn't know that it would be this small. Like I have small hands, and like this, is, I have like small hands. I mean. I have really small hands, but um, yeah, it's a lot smaller than I thought. But that's pretty cool, cause but like Sam, the CBC has like big hands, so I don't really like this. Like he might want to get a pro controller, but pro controllers are like eighty dollars and all. I don't know. Like this is meant for like small hands, honestly, cause my hands are just the right size for it, you know. If not a little bit bigger than it, you know. So there's that. Okay. Um, we got. The Nintendo Switch safety guide, I guess. Um, next we have there's something in bubble wrap. If I can get it, that'd be great. If I can get it, that'd be awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna pop it out. Oh, I think this is the dock. Yeah, this is the dock. Cool. So this is in bubble wrap, and then this is this foam packaging. You know, like the uh, grip, the con con controller grip was. Wow. Nintendo Switch right there, baby. For the focus. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And then on the back it says Nintendo. And then, uh, I believe this is like, this is a USB port for like, for what actually? I think for like a, a USB charger, mini USB charger, like you can plug it in the wall like for your phones basically. Or, yeah, you, like, you, you know how like one side's USB and then you have that little, um, power supply that that little tiny power supply that has like a usb port in it i think it's for that if not um for like a hard drive or something but i'm not exactly sure what else it'd be for um i think both of these are usb actually so that's pretty cool oh i think they're also these are also for the gamecube adapter hopefully um hopefully it'll be work with because i heard nintendo would say that the wii u gamecube adapter would work on the switch so it could also be for the um for um, one GameCube adapter, because you know you have the black USB port, USB cable, or uh, USB uh, end, and then the gray USB end for the uh, for the uh, Wii U GameCube adapter. So it might be also for that. Now what's really cool is um you can just pop this out, and then you got your um you got your AC adapter. It's right here. I don't know how I can see that. I actually can see that pretty well. Your AC adapter is the first one, which is really small. Um, you, another USB. I think this is 3.0 because it's, it has that little blue in it. I could be wrong. Because, like, the 2.0 is just the regular one with the silver in it. But, um, the 3.0 has that little blue, um, re rectangle right there you see right there. So I think that might be 3.0. So that's pretty cool. And then your HDMI out to go out to your, um, TV or your c capture card or whatever. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. And it was really cool because, like, you can actually just cover this up. Like, you can close that. And it hides all the cables and stuff and can come out of this little hole. So that's really cool. And the HDMI logo is right there. Cool. Um. Yeah, and then your front is just that, really. <laughs> and then your bottom is that. Which is just under the warnings, I guess, and stuff. So that's pretty cool. So, um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Nintendo <laughs> Nintendo okay the legend is Zelda: the breath of the wild so let me um I actually got a scissors in here to cut the seal let me do that okay, I got my hand in a scissors right here okay I'm gonna cut the I'm gonna cut the seal right here okay that's good I'll actually can just there we go so there we go um, I pulled out a drawer on my desk basically to get that scissors. It's just a ma it didn't magic up here. So I'm gonna take off the plastic here. And the back is really cool too. Just taking it off, yeah. It says I'm gonna switch in the corner right there. And it has a link on a cliff, I guess. Legend. So, um, I can actually show how to slide everything in, I guess. So, let me do that. So let's see, plus and plus, right? No, plus and minus, right? I'm like Joy Con. So, I guess they just slide in, right? Oh man, I feel I still taste the bad. Yeah, that's disgusting. I don't like it. I guess that's why Nintendo put that the polish on it. Yeah. It's like it has a really um, 
DS game, something like that, or a DS game, kind of like that. You just have to like pull it out. And then, um, <laughs> you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna lick this, and I still can't show my face on YouTube because you don't see my reaction. But uh, I'll, I'll try to, I'll try to do verbally uh, show my reaction or reveal my reaction. So apparently, Nintendo put um this um like bitter like. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, like polish on it, I guess you could say. So that um, little kids wouldn't uh, be, um, wouldn't eat these and swallow these by uh, on accident. Um, so they made it so like it, they would be discouraged to eat it. <laughs> and I think they did it on both sides too. All school, the back side, it has all these little plates and stuff. Um, like that, yeah. It's pretty cool. And then um, let me see if I can focus this on the camera. Let's see here. Yeah, the Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, and then right here on the top is Nintendo Switch. It's rated E. It's rated E10 for ages 10 and up. But 8 year olds probably still play this if they have a Switch right now. Yeah, so I'm gonna lick this. And I'm gonna, uh, verbally. Okay, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna do it. I licked it twice right now. Honestly, it doesn't taste that bad. I don't know why people are like, ew. I'm looking a third time. Uh, I must have got a copy that doesn't have much. Okay, now I feel it. Now I taste it. It kind of tastes bad, honestly. So I guess I get why people say, ew. Like, if you look at three times, you're for sure be able to taste it eventually. Like I did. And, like, it's all slobbery and stuff. Okay, I'm not going to show that camera. It's gross. I'm going to just wipe it off with them on my pants. Yeah, very sanitary of, my, of me. But yeah, it tastes bad, but it doesn't taste that bad, but it still tastes bad. To, p to put that in perspective. So, let's see here. Do I have to charge my um Nintendo Switch first, or how does it go? Um, I guess I could show off, um, well, I guess it's the unboxing.